Hello. Okay, y'all. Welcome to T and D. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, thank you for being patient with us while we took a short break to, uh, you know, uh, let everybody go to cons and stuff and uh, recover and all of that, and also just some personal life stuff. We really appreciate it. Um, gosh, as far as what happened last time. Um, I actually had to go back and listen to it so that I could remember. Uh, so you guys, uh, after uh, the siege on Lena's Bay, uh, you captured uh, the uh, two people uh, from uh, Icer, uh, Glory and uh, Fitz. <laughs> and um, you interrogated them. They uh, let you know that they were on your side uh, and that, uh, well, basically a bunch of shit about Icer um, and Roland being sort of uh, not really physically there. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, but uh, then... Uh, Roland, <laughs> guys, <laughs> okay, uh, Roland and Glory and Fitz uh, were, uh, you presume, killed uh, in their physical bodies, uh, so, because uh, they, We're you know. We're them spoopy boys. Yeah, you're them spoopy boys. Um, so, now you are free to uh, plan as you'd like. Uh, Roland and Fane had a really deep heart-to-heart -heart that I'm still emotional about. And uh, Hero and Solus talked to Avery, which was fun. <laughs> and uh, let's see, we brought everybody together to uh, plan uh, what you guys were going to do uh as far as when you well how you're going to get on icer um and what you're going to do when you're going to get there uh so you guys uh to set the scene are all in narcissus kitchen again uh currently fitz and gloria are actually uh out helping nicola uh get the ships ready to be uh used again um so they are not currently with you but they may be making an appearance later uh but yeah you guys are all in narcissus kitchen uh getting ready to uh get your plan of attack together so uh with that i am going to hand it over to you guys it's about 1 p.m Are we all in the kitchen? Yes. 
too many cooks. Stop it. <laughs> <I'm dead>. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you meme as soon as we come back? <laughs> I'm singing I want you that way in the text. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh god. Okay. We're back. Oh good. Okay. Um, Awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zeal, I heard you cracking up over it. Yeah, I was, actually. Um, I was having a lot of trouble concentrating because you were fucking typing Backstreet Boys in the chat. Thank you for that. Back anyway, let's fucking play some D&D, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, uh, what's... So, what's the plan? Roland, you you know. Yeah. Are you laughing at me because I had to talk in a country <laughs> accent? Zane? Zill? What's up, y'all? Maybe. My name's Hero. I Listen, have... <laughs> let me fucking roleplay, okay? Do it. Uh, Alright, y'all, what's the plan? Uh, Roland, you know best how to navigate those space contraptions, so... I think we've had this conversation before. It's a spaceship, and, um... Yeah, no, we... Um, those two, they're helping Nikolai with repairs. Um, for now, the ship should be operational soon, but we're gonna have to find a way to sneak into Icer. Break in. Take care of Eros and try to unravel what seems to be years upon years worth of uh, social skullduggery and hierarchical bullshit that I do not understand. Okay, so... How... I'm still a little fuzzy on details. Is I sort of like one big ship or is it like a planet type thing are there separate buildings on it it's all three Ima okay. <laughs> okay imagine let's say there's like a big dodecahedron shape gazoon type <laughs> dodecahedron shape that's hollow and filled with stuff that is buildings that is okay. made of levels. Okay, so what part of that would this Eros character be in? That's a great question. What part of the DM? What part is that Eros in? <laughs> what part of Icer? Yes. Uh, the inner sanctum. There is no war in Boston. Mm. Roll, uh, let me see. What do I want you to roll? Hmm. To know this. I want a Backstreet Boys kick. Can I assume that we took a long rest? Yes, you have been long, long resting this whole time. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, didn't we uh, take a good old sleep Isn't it the next morning? You gotta slut. That's yeah. true. You guys are completely all healed up and everything. Thank you. Uh, make. Yeah, let's just go with a straight intelligence check. Ooh, thank God I'm a smart boy. <laughs> Not a smart boy, real. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, got that one. <laughs> I love you, Emmett. It's over, bitch. What did you get? Well, no, okay, so I got a 14, but I'm having some issues finding my character sheet. Oh. <laughs> That's always fun. I'm a disaster man. We've been over this. Um, I'm pretty sure, um, Zell, do you have my old sheet I sent to you? Quite possibly. Yeah, uh, I, I know it should be a plus four, but I want to make sure, and I don't want to, like, fuck with it. Uh, 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 uh. If find I... my folder and where are you if i just i don't have it actually let me check your let me check what i need it should be a plus four because i'm pretty sure roland has plus four intelligence shockingly 
Um, bear warning, there is a motorcyclist outside. Did you send me your character sheet recently? Uh, I might have sent it to you before. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a plus four. Oh, I found it. Oh, I was right. It is okay, a so smart four, one. 14 plus four is 18, 18. yes? Ah. Okay. So, so you're wondering whereabouts on the ship Eros is, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, so you know uh, that the upper echelon of like the uh, Icer crew, so like people like Lysandra and at this point probably Eros, um, have this kind of like inner sanctum kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> I was right. Uh, Are we sort it, of like in the center of a like? If we have to look at a dodecahedron shape and there's different levels, would they be located in the widest and the most center part of the dodecahedron? So, okay. The way that the dodecahedron is set up is that... Gosh, this is going to be a bitch to explain. So, <laughs> on the surface level, you have, like, a bunch of, like, skyscrapers and towers and shit, like... It looks like a regular city on the surface level, and this is on all of the faces of this dodecahedron, like, die thing. Oh, no, I just described Going it. in, you have a lot of, um, there's 12 floors going in, like, going down, and then one central room. You know that typically the upper echelon are more in the center of the dodecahedron. Okay. Like in the middle. Like in the middle, middle. Protected that way. Like in the center of the Kind earth. of like a core? Yes. Like okay. a core. Oh God, it's core. <laughs> <laughs> You're such in a singy mood today, Emmett. It's very cute. <laughs> Thank you. But also, it's because I'm in the nightmare scenario right now, and this is how I'm coping. <laughs> well, <laughs> this entire week is in the nightmare scenario, but it's good. It's good. Um. Okay, so can I relate? Why well, I wasn't? I was wrong on a lot of different fronts, but arrows <laughs> is in the center. I'm gonna do this in a character voice now. Arrows is in the center of the dodecahedron. We have to get to Arrow somehow. There's probably going to be traps. There's going to be guards. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I don't know because I haven't been there in a while and I have apparently been in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> According to my oh, sources. No. According to my sources, I've been in a coma. <laughs> According to my sources, I've been dead for 10 years. I fucking forgot that you were like... I'm talking to the ghost of Rose right now, but not really. I sometimes still hear his voice. Stop telling people I'm dead. <laughs> exactly. Except uh, he is dead. I'm a That's another thing. Can I float now? No. <laughs> you're not. A, not you're still it's not like that. No. You're a, you're a physical person. You're just not. You're like almost like a clone of yourself, right? I'm a spirit clone. I'm special. Yes. A spirit clone is a very good way to put that. Roland, Roland, it's you at the last save point. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why my brain is jumping to Borderlands. But, okay, so anyways, yeah. Um, we get to Icer. We find how to get through all those hijinks. We get through the tomfoolery. And hopefully we don't die. Again, for me. <laughs> I got nothing much to live for, but also, like, I don't like dying. Again. Oh, fuck. Are we gonna find my <laughs> Fane. Fane, who has been sitting, like, <clears throat> both elbows on the table, like, face directly next to his big cup of tea or some shit, some just, like, raises his cup a little bit at that and, like, looks at you rolling. <laughs> And then sips it again. <laughs> I forget. Do we know at this point that Fane has died before? Uh, uh, I, I believe that's along the lines of it. He only 
explained it more to Roland, but he's at least heavily implied it to the group. Okay, so it would, like, that gesture would make sense to pretty much all of us. Yeah, at least vaguely. Okay. I'm also going to state this for the record. If you die in space, you do die in real life. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's but actually any... fairly true. <laughs> but can anyone hear you scream? <laughs> in ice, yeah. they can. They probably want to make you scream more because they just hate people. Wow, accurate. Okay. If, they launch, if you, they launch us into empty space, no one can hear anything because there's no sound in space. You don't know that. You're, you're not a science man. I'm not saying this in Hero's <laughs> voice. I am saying this in Emily voice. Is a hick fox talking to you right now? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> not Hero. <laughs> no. I think I've established a pretty d different character voice at this point. Yeah, no, okay, that. guys, back to D&D. &D. Yeah, so, um, uh, alright, well, what does everyone think? Like, this, we don't have a lot to go on other than the fact that, Roland, you seem to know, like, the basic construction of Acer. Again, coma. Yeah. Um, exactly. But, okay, so yeah, that's what's up with Icer. Um, so essentially now, what we have to do is get there. And we should have stuff running. I would suggest bringing some weapons. I would suggest suggest loading up magic. I don't know how magic works, but I'm assuming that's how it works. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. No, it it's not. <laughs> <laughs> good, good to know. Sorry, that was my grandma. <laughs> Roland has a grandma? No. no. I can't believe Roland's grandma is communicating with him. <laughs> it turns out, secret word, Roland's grandma. It's just one big spider. She's our mole in the system. <laughs> I'm have to call he has a way <laughs> of information. Hello? It's Harrison. Her initials are WWW. Yeah. <laughs> Starry's calling the cops, so <laughs> they'll be here shortly. <laughs> I live next to a precinct. Good to sort know. Of. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, anyway, I'm kind of trying to get the feel of what everyone else thinks of this, because, like, Roland, obviously, you're... I mean, it's clear you're super dead set on just kind of charging into this situation and like obviously we need a plan but like I don't know does anyone have any idea what we should do because right now it sounds like we're just kind of taking a shot in the dark and I prefer to have some kind of knowledge of what we're aiming at No one? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I forgot I was on mute. It's okay. Uh, Mueller. Uh, I mean, I... Ultimately, I would assume that our end game is to kill Eros, right? That's the only way we stop these attacks. Supposedly. Kill him and then reinstate a new world order that won't want to hunt everyone down and that won't become corrupted within two years' time and then we have to deal with this debacle all over again. Do you think there are people like that at ISAR, Roland? You know, I can hope, but I'm going to be realistic, probably, actually. Because as much as, like, it's a totalitarian regime and shit, I think there is some sort of independent thought movement we could probably cling on to. And hopefully they're not all hippies. I think you've misunderstood what hippies are, but sure. I mean, um, listen, Hero's a bit of a hippie. I'm not a hippie! <laughs> but you're a hippie with <laughs> magic. See statement I'm, number one, Roland. I think you misunderstand what a hippie is. Yeah, I'm just because I'm a farmer doesn't mean I'm like, well, okay, and a pacifist and a cleric, yeah. but like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My point. My point stands. Weird. Point one has been refuted. 
I mean, uh, just because, listen, <laughs> I'm not some kind of activist, really. I just believe in the greater good. Um, but, you know, I'm not exactly one for confrontation. You know. That's a hippie. <laughs> Hero looks over at Faye with like a raised eyebrow. <laughs> well, it's always him, not me. <laughs> Roland's gonna go over and give him a high five. Yeah! Faye gives back a high five, but like, they're very tired. They... He just kind of puts up his hand. Faye, do you need And then I... you high five it. Do you, do you need some coffee or maybe a stronger tea? Faina holds up his cup. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you need something stronger than that because it seems like is it no? Oh, it's is it, okay. You, you, well, it is one. It is one in the afternoon, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Fair warning. Roland's kind of in this mode of both sleep deprivation mania, so this is why he's like really hyped up. And this isn't me projecting at all. <laughs> no, no, seriously, this is the case Emmett, it is. Emmett, are you okay? <laughs> Emmett, shouldn't we be that concerned? Uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> that was not, not convincing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get this going. Okay, well, aside okay. from um, mental health, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Zayl, question. Yes. Um, are so Glory and uh, uh Fitz, Fitz. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> are with um, God Nicola, right? Yes. Okay. Crap. <sighs> Never wow. mind. I was gonna ask if they could tell us anything more about the constructs of the city thing, so we might actually have an idea of how we were getting into the center of town, but they're not here right now. So. They're not here right now, but you can save that question for later. Yeah, I'll table that. I'll look we'll okay. back to that later. <laughs> oh, um... Fuck. I'll, I'll DM that to you, actually. Okay. <laughs> what am I getting DM'd? <laughs> Hopefully so the game. Hey! Hey, thank that, you. That, like, <laughs> gave me and so, I'm like, being that. I'm the being vine that. just flashed in my head. <laughs> what was that? The road work vibe just flashed yeah, in my head. Yeah, I was literally, I literally said, <laughs> I sure hope it does. I literally said it in that tone of voice on purpose. <laughs> road work ahead. Yeah, I sure hope it does. Anyway, <laughs> besides my amazing jokes, um, while they're DMing. Um. Jump to present. Does anyone here have any kind of experience with, like, reconnaissance missions or anything like that? I've never. I'm not very sneaky or inconspicuous. You know. You uh, like a real fire. Like, I don't know what to say. I'm um, more of a sudden death. From above, type gal myself. I specialize in reconnaissance. So but they're going to be looking for me, so it's going to be a little rougher. I mean, I was about to say the disguises are a little bit easier. Wait, but yeah. then I, but then I looked at you again, Roland, and I remember that you were a spider. So, <laughs> and a disguise. That's a thing. Yes, they are. Good job, sir. Hey, Zale. <laughs> yes. No. Is this the kind of campaign? Do you allow? I, I I can't remember if I've asked this before or something. Do you allow spell learning spells through like studying a specific thing, or yeah. do you? Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Cause guys, if we can. Uh, find. <laughs> wow, I'm choking on spaghettios. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um, 
<laughs> uh, if we can find, like, a book or, like, a scroll or someone who knows, like, the spell disguise self or something like that, we can make at least Roland a little more inconspicuous, because... But how long would that take? Hmm. Hmm. That's up. That's oh, up to the discretion of the DM. Because <laughs> learning a spell can take a while. Let me see if it's a cleric spell. I don't think it is, but let me see. I don't think it is either. But I'll uh, hold on. Oh, holding. What am I holding on to? It's not. Uh, no, I don't have that. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> Fane has uh, spells, obviously, yeah. but his are more um... stabby. Yeah, <laughs> his are more offensive because he's uh, a fucking soldier. Yeah, and mine are all healing and protection spells because I'm life domain. Um, so I'm a warlock. <laughs> yeah, I have, have no spells. spells. <laughs> Do you have this guy's self soul? No, I'm 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 a warlock. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what class is really left that could have this guy's self other than like wizard, <laughs> generic rogues, wizard. Rogues do, don't they? Rogues don't have magic. Oh, nope. that's true. unless you're trickery. Which yeah. Good. And then I have no idea. Um. um okay. Let's... So we're shit out of luck. I... Well, I have. Well, you know, I'm a I'm a sneaky boy. I'm a sneaky boy with a disguise hat. I have a disguise hat. You have a disguise hat? When did you I, get that? What? It was a while ago, when we went to the dragon's lair and we fucking did you her. really? I got a hat of disguise. Yes, we had this oh. conversation. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, shit. What? Roland has a fucking disguise. Wait, okay. Is it a magic disguise? Like hat yes. of disguise? It yes. is. It's a magic hat of disguise. We've had this conversation. Oh. Oh, okay. I rolled. <laughs> I rolled. <laughs> I rolled super fucking low, and everyone's like, oh, wait, that's actually a useful item, considering you're a literal fucking spider. Oh my god, I- listen, Emmett, I can't remember what's in my own inventory, let alone your inventory. I memorize a lot of stupid shit. I have some things. I don't have a disguise, because I don't have a disguise kit. Anyway, well, that covers the Roland problem. Well, okay. So, all we have left- that. All we have left is- a tiefling. Uh, Roland, are there tieflings in Iser? At Iser? DM, are there tieflings in Iser? I'm not gonna make you roll for this because it's pretty simple. Yes. Okay, <laughs> sweet. They're not as, like. I mean, they're rare in this world. They're even rarer on Iser, but there are tieflings, yes. Okay. There's a well, tiefling. All right, so maybe we don't have to worry so much about soul, but we do have a winged lady as well. We're we're really not an inconspicuous group as a whole. I mean, I can <laughs> I can look human, so I'm not an issue. I'm not really an issue here. I can change my appearance. Um, we are. How close can you fold your wings in? And if you have a cloak or something, you can probably hide. <laughs> uh, she gives you a deadpan look. Yeah, rolling him and. Her. Uh, hey, Roland waves his fucking four ass arms. Don't don't do that at me. <laughs> she has hey hey Emmett. She has an eleven foot wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, X Men, let's go. We're not pulling a fucking maximum ride here where they can hide them under a hoodie. No, there's actual physics in this, and to have her fly, she had to be very small. And have giant ass wigs. Whiz sized. Yes. Oh my god, is we're whiz sized? Yes. That's yeah. the best. Hey, fuck you. Tiny. Actually, actually, Minuscule, microscopic. Actually, um, ben. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're is two inches shorter than you. No? Because you're five, five two. Right? No. Oh, five five. Wiz is five foot even. <laughs> I <Wow>. lied. <laughs> I, like I can't believe we're watching, experiencing this gay heartbreak right in front of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I can't believe my own partner doesn't know how fucking short I am. All I know <laughs> is that I'm taller than you. The first thing I knew about Wiz was how short she was. <laughs> um. Betrayed. 
by all of my friends. <laughs> well, guys, it was fun playing D and D together while it lasted, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all right, so Roland, that was a dumb question. <laughs> I'm he not just shit from a hippie. He like pats you on the shoulder. <laughs> oh, don't do that. What? Well, I thought I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And he like uh laughs and pats you again. Pat pat. <laughs> um all right. I Roland. Yeah. All the uh, all the elves on the ship. Yeah, elves exist on the ship. I think you'll camouflage well enough. You just might want to cover the facial markings. Anything that's really mm -hmm. recognizable that will make you stick out. Are there, hey, um, DM, uh -huh. Eliza, Eliza, DM, are there any elves, do the elves usually have facial, facial markings on ice or no? Usually no, but there are some that have them, uh, roll, or sorry, Fane would not be very out of place. Fane is actually the most normal, normal looking out of all of you, like even you, Roland, are an oddity on ice E. Yeah. I mm, I think Fane, like phys like build wise, like physical build, basically is an elf in physicality. But as far as like hair and skin color, and then tattoos, Fu irons are pretty unnatural. I mean, if you can cover up, if you can maybe cover up your hair or make a temporary magic that dyes it like a more natural color. I don't know. My hair is white. But I'm also fucking weird there, too. Shocker. You can just put some makeup on your face, Fane. Would you like to dye your hair for a little while? No, <laughs> they don't. Well, they don't permanent tattoos, so I guess I can get rid of them. Oh. Do you just draw those on every morning? No. <laughs> <laughs> Semi-permanent. Oh, okay. Is it like a cosmetics thing? What like why why I do it? Yeah. No. It's a it's a foreign thing. No, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean I mean I, I figured it was like a cultural thing. I just didn't know if it was like Yeah, no, I don't draw shit on my face every morning to look good. Okay. Well yeah. Well, I mean you look good anyway, so Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid from the vaping vine. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, I just like, I mean, your cultural could have done it for cosmetic reasons. Anyway, mm -hmm. not important, I guess. No. <laughs> oh, what's that? You want to tell me? No, tell me. No, Fane. Fane, tell me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt like I was being rambly and stupid. <laughs> no, it's um a bit of a status thing and a bit of a uh culture thing, I suppose. Okay. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Huh. We learn know. we're still learning stuff about each other, you guys. It's a great time to be alive. Do you alive. know anything about me? Very oh. little. I know you're very small. <laughs> as is as is your temper. <sighs> and um, huh? Hero? Um, yeah. Stop I'm while not, you're ahead. I'm not that small. 
I mean, I'd yeah. say you come up to maybe my neck. So, hey, um, listen, it is not my fault that you all are tall <laughs> by my standards, but I'm pretty tall by Fuaren's standards. Oh, fuck, what are you? <sighs> I was right, you're all pix pixies and fucking munchkins. Uh, am I within a uh, kicking range of <laughs> <laughs> Roland? Probably. All right, I kick Roland. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dex. I'm gonna challenge you on that. Everyone's gonna try to like take All right. I'll roll and attack. Oh, Jesus <laughs> God, this got gay. What the fuck? Fuck. Why are we? Seven. <sighs> hey, this is, this is your guys' first meeting all over again. In my in my head, heroes sitting like this is like a round table, and heroes sitting like in between. Fane and Roland. <laughs> so Fane is trying to kick Roland past hero. <laughs> Keep do it. Oh, I know. It's just like Hero is just casting this oh. like tired look at Soul and Weir. Like, oh, Weir looks what? exhausted and a little bit annoyed. <laughs> Why the fuck did I sit here? <laughs> Soul shrugs. Um. <laughs> what am I? What am I rolling? Attack. I don't Death know. An attack. Do you, I guess, a dex contest between the two of you? Okay, because I'm not, like, trying to hurt him. Mm. Uh, that wasn't great. Well, we're only got a 7, so... Oh, I got a 14. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> so Ow! Fane winks. No! Okay. Hero, <laughs> Hero rises from the table and drags his chair to the other side of Roland, where he's... <laughs> It's fucker, that hurt. Um we're like knocks on the table and is like Can can y'all stop being gay for just a second? I s uh, Roland, do you know how do you know anything about the layout of Icer? Uh, some sort of <laughs> for lack of a what a better word, battle strategy is better than none, and I would much rather not rush in when I don't have to. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question? I'm still fucking shin. Maybe you shouldn't have poked your boyfriend then. We're not dating. We're not dating. Hmm. Mm. Mm. We're not. Fame looks genuinely upset and confused. <laughs> <laughs> Hero, like, coughs into his hand to cover up his laughter. <laughs> um... Like, do you remember the layout? Any sort of... Can I, you, could you draw a map or something? Well, okay, here's here's the thing. I know how to navigate Icer pretty well. I grew up on that little hellhole. But there's one problem. I've technically been in a coma for a long-ass time, and things are bound to change. I do have... I have connections from when I was younger still there, and maybe from when I... I have connections, but I don't know how much it's changed. For the most part, you really can't change a lot of Icer since it's so old. It's like, imagine taking an old city and trying to, like, renovate the whole damn thing. That's just not gonna happen. Mm. It's more possible on Icer, so certain things might have changed, but there just might be more traps and more anything. We know, we know, at least I know, that Eros is gonna be in the dead center. It's the most well-protected place. Getting there is a pain in the ass. But we're gonna get there. Sure. Uh, you keep mentioning traps. What kind of traps are we talking? I'm assuming it's not snare yeah. S traps, given that your people came down with laser weaponry. Well, I mean, yes, but also. Maybe. There's gonna be traps, I would say, considering, well, laser beams. Laser beams are a thing, so that's mm -hmm. happening. Um, more guards. Mm -hmm. Robots. Robots? Here. Robots. Automatons. Metal people who can move real fast and are programmed to just kill and don't feel pain. 
Why did your society invent so many horrible things? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's a spider cult. I was invented by that. We don't talk about that, though. I mean, yeah. that sounds more... Never mind. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it, Roland, now? It's okay. We're here for you. No. no we're all gonna... This isn't a conversation I want to have right now. This isn't a conversation I want to have right now. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. So, we don't want to die. We just got to be careful. Don't get detected. And... Grandma. Um... Sorry. That was my grandma. But... Um... Essentially, what we have to do is just... If we get in there quick and fast, we should be able to shut everything down from the center. At this point, uh, Narcissa leads um, Glory and fits in, and they all have their arms full of a bunch of shit, and they uh, dump it on the table in front of you guys. And uh, Glory says, so uh, we found all of this in the ships. I thought perhaps as a gesture of goodwill to let you know that I am on your side and so is Fitz that we would uh, bring it to you to peruse as you will. Oh, um, thank you. What is all of this? Okay. So. <laughs> the moment all right. Dale's been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> Paint me right. a picture, DM. So, uh, within this uh group of shit uh there is a uh what looks like a large coin with only a face side and it's hung on a piece of thick leather there is a uh copper circlet uh something that you would probably like be placed on the head uh that's shaped to like the ends like it's kind of it looks a little bit like a laurel wreath like you would get like if you were in the olympics but Instead of laurel, it looks like aloe flowers. Um, aloe. Aloe. Here, I will get you a reference because they are very pretty. Are you saying aloe or aloe? I don't know. It's aloe, I think. Like aloe vera? Al aloe plants. It's aloe. Aloe vera. It's aloe vera. Um, no, it's not, boys. Potato, potato, <laughs> tomato, tomato. Aloe vera. I don't. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Um, there is. Uh, gosh, this oh. one I didn't really. I didn't have the chance to decide what it looks like. So, it's a. Uh, Plants. What's it gonna be made out of? It's a leather armband. Um, that has some some sigils in it. Ooh, uh, emo? There is a what looks like a sword hilt that doesn't appear to be attached to any sword. Do we get lightsabers? No. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello, 911. Um, where did it go? I might have to cancel it. Uh, Good. Kill it me. Like it's End got, it. It looks like it's got uh, like a saber tooth tiger at the end of it, and then like the hilt itself is blue and gold, kind of like wrapped around itself. Um, but there is no uh, like sword end to it. Like there's no blade. Um, and then there is a. Uh, dagger that um, has like a deep inset channel in it um, and a little button that looks like you could press it 
and it's got this like really uh, kind of like one end is like one side of it is kind of jagged looking. And then the other side is a smooth pointed blade. And uh, the the jagged uh, side of it's got some, um, it looks like gold leaf engraved into it. It's very pretty. Um, and that is what they dump on the table for you guys. So if you want to go through it. I'll go through it. Okay. Uh, what are you taking a look at first? Um, the penis hat. What? Honestly, I think they look like little dicks. The oh, owl. the, the, the circlet? <laughs> the circlet? <laughs> okay. Uh, Why? Okay, are you just looking at it? Or are you, like, putting it on? Uh, do you want me to put it on? I don't know. You can if you want to. I'm not uh, going to stop you. Uh, looking. Okay. It's very pretty. Cool. What if, <laughs> uh, I want to put my gay hands on that armband? Okay. With the runes? Question mark on them? Yes, it's got runes. Um, my gay hands are touching them. It's just touching it? Should I do something specific <laughs> with it? Lick it. No! <laughs> Alright, I guess old a better question to ask would be, does anybody... Uh, yes, I do. Do you have um, any... Does anybody have anything to identify magic items? I have detect magic. I also have detect magic. I have no spells. Okay. Should I just I cast detect, I, detect I, magic? <laughs> I don't expend any spell slots uh, okay. doing detect magic, so okay. I do detect magic. And Wow, the whole table is full of magic. Yeah, cool. Are you going <laughs> to tell me what this shit... <laughs> what does yeah, detect magic let you do? It tells you what class of magic each thing is. In oh, magic. boy. Uh... I would not have any idea. Oh, cool. That's fun. Um, I have yeah. no idea, honestly. Do you have a list sale that you could, like, post for us? Because it was, like... Yes, I do. I will Sweet. Take, take pictures of this list. Thank you. Which will immediately tell you what everything is, but that's fine. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can censor it if you need to. It's okay. I can decide whether I'm going to read or not. Okay. I'll just... Let's type it up really quick. We can be good players and read it, but note that our characters wouldn't know it. I'm just a dumb bitch. I mean... I'm sure you're not dumb, Emmett. Sorry! <laughs> what? Oh. Wait, did you say something? Oh. I'm like... Mildly dissociating. That's a cute. <laughs> Are you guys okay? You laugh, but <laughs> I'm not laughing. Laughing. I'm like nervous, concerned, laughing. What's up? Welcome to D and D. Three of us are no, two of us. Two. Ah, two of us uh, are falling apart mentally. What's up? I'm Emmett. I'm 18. I never fucking looked at that. <laughs> I'm not 18 yet, actually. 17, sorry. Oh, fun fact. My birthday is the same day as the guy who made the pride flag. That's Yay. cool. Yeah. Why is my family shocked? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, I have a feeling I know which one is meant for hero. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's not bad. Oh, no, I'm saying oh, no for no reason. Oh, okay. 
Too many cooks. Too many. <laughs> to those, to those <laughs> in, in the audience who can't tell what's happening, we're waiting for Zale to type the description of the item so that we all, all of us who were fucking brain dead while he was describing them. Oh, uh, there you go. That is your items. There you go. Okay, sweet. So I have a again, feeling I know for, what all of these are meant for. So again, for the uh, the audience, there is a large coin with only a face side that's hung on a piece of thick leather, a leather armband with rune carves in, runes carved into it, a copper circlet shaped to look like aloe flowers, a sword hilt with no blade that looks like uh, that looks like it has the relief of a saber toothed tiger at the end of it, and gold and blue swirls around it and a dagger with a deep channel set into it and a button that looks like it would release something down into the channel. Wait, oh no, so wait, does that- It's a poisonous dagger. Oh, hey! I have one of those for my rogue in one of my other campaigns. It's not that fancy, though. (laughs) It's just a- It's a a really good weapon. Yeah, it's pretty much just a really good weapon. (laughs) Um, I'm assuming you know what these do. Yes, I do. Do you know the School of Magic? Um, I don't know if these are, do these count as magic items or are they? Uh, well, I I used to detect magic. Yeah, they are. (laughs) Okay, they are (laughs) magic items. They are technically magic items, but I don't know if any of them tell me what exactly... Do they have, like, <laughs> a special abilities or anything? Yeah. Okay, let's start with this. Is any okay. Are any of them imbued with a spell? No. Okay. Uh, wow. Well... <laughs> I don't know what other questions to ask. Um, I mean, DM's discretion, you can just tell um, what they fucking do. Yeah, okay, we're just gonna <laughs> skip all the bullshit and tell you what the fuck these things do. Okay, so, sweet. So the large coin, you investigate it and uh, determine that... Um, that it allows the wearer to affect the willpower of an enemy. Uh, You're not sure how many times per day you can do that, but that's what you uh, discern from it. And so basically, uh, D&D speak, uh, when invoking a spell or racial trait that requires a saving throw, the user may reduce the amount rolled by their enemy uh, to, uh, by 1d4 plus their charisma modifier to try and make them fail a saving throw. Well, and I will take a picture of that for you and send it to the chat. Oh, but hey, God, Zale. my lighting is so bad. Hey, yes. Zale. Yeah. Is that the thing? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? The uh, you look at the circlet. And uh, you determine that it gives the wearer a helping hand in medicine. D&D speak, uh, when it is adorned upon the head, it will give the wearer an additional uh, D6 to add to any medicine checks. Dibs. (laughs) Uh, The bracer, uh, the arm bracer thing. The arm band thing. The emo band. It's not emo. It's leather <laughs> and runes are carved into it. It's emo. Uh, I'm really sorry if you, if, you, if you would prefer. It's very punk rock. No, it's gone. That is better. It is punk rock. It's gone. <laughs> you uh, determine that it can give the wearer some traits of the barbarian class. Uh, so. D&D speak wise, while you aren't wearing heavy armor, uh, you have advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Uh, When you make a melee weapon attack using strength, you gain a plus two to the damage roll. 
and you have a resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage while wearing this arm bracer. Uh, calling dibs, but can I get that in the thing so I can write it down? Yes. Thanks. Oh, I feel I like that. Out. I sent <laughs> the thing to Emmett on accident. What? <laughs> I sent the description of the weird coin thing to Emmett that on is accident. Sideways. Good thing if I don't focus, I can't read. Gosh, okay. Oh no, Emmett. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a mood, though. Oh my god, are you, you guys like actually? Oh, god. <laughs> oh goodness! Thank you, Zael. You're welcome. Oh. Uh, the uh... hey, little feeling. That's so cute. I knew it. <laughs> I knew the, it. Uh, sword hilt. Um, Wait, are giant. they assigned for everyone? I can't see the shit. I'm blind. Yes, I kind of made them uh, specifically, well, and took them from the book uh, specifically for Ooh, also, uh, you might specific people. Move these to story refs. So yes. we can pin it. Okay. I will do that. Um, the. Uh, hilt, you determine to, uh, be, I mean, basically, uh, D&D speak wise, the target takes an extra D6 cold, uh, damage when you, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, it takes an extra D6 cold damage when you use it. Uh, when you hold the sword, you have resistance to fire damage, uh, in freezing temps, the blade sheds, well, when it is attached to a blade, it will shed a bright light for ten for a ten foot radius and dim light for an additional ten feet. Uh, and when you draw this weapon, you can extinguish all non magical flames within thirty feet of you. And then the uh, the dagger is basically a dagger of venom, which uh, yeah, you gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this. Weapon, uh, you can use an action to cause a thick black poison to coat the blade. And, uh, bah, 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 bah. this one's still in the book. I didn't have the chance to write it all down. Uh, where did it go? Uh, when, uh, the poison remains for one minute or until an attack using this weapon hits a creature, the creature must succeed on a DC 10 constitution saving throw or take 2d10 poison damage and become poisoned for one minute. This dagger cannot be used in this way again until the next dawn. So, fun presents for all of you guys. Thank you, Zale. We love you. You're welcome. Thanks, Dad. Yay. You're welcome. Thank you. Here's gonna pluck that flower crown off the table. <laughs> that's exactly what I was intending, that it was going to be like a flower. Yeah, that's what I am picturing. So That's why I thought Hero would look so cute. He's literally gonna turn it over and say, goes, This is really cute and just fucking put it on his head. Wow. It's like, thanks. <laughs> An avocado. <laughs> hey. uh, you are a princess fan. What? For once, we is not the princess. Something else is around for once. Are you saying that in character? <laughs> Oh, that was. Did kind I send these to the wrong things. I, I gotta, I gotta say it in my character voice. Um, wow. You to tuned to something. Wow, I can't believe it. Finn, your role as princess has been taken by none other <laughs> than the hero. Wow, I can't believe <laughs> I live to see the day, or not live. I go see the day. Oh, sorry, Finn. Did you? Want this no, one. I don't. I don't want it. Oh, is someone pulls it? Ron's gonna start poking him. <laughs> Ron, <coughs> stop! Fane, get your fingers off. Grabs his finger and just holds it there and picks up <laughs> the uh, hilt of the sword. 
uh, Weir puts her head in her palms and starts, like, rubbing her temples. Roland's gonna lick his hand. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Why are you so gross? Guys, we're supposed <sighs> to be planning like a, like a... Roland's gonna wiggle his tongue in a nasty way. Yeah. Stop! Gonna... <laughs> he makes a face. I need to use the bathroom. Excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Weir goes over and grabs, uh, maybe a bit more forcefully, rolling by an ear oh. and feign by the wrist and yanks them apart. <laughs> um. Thank you, mom. <laughs> and Ow. she. Pushes Fane, uh, sorry, no, she pushes Roland into the next seat over and sits down between the two of them. And, um, little raspberry. And she, to that, in response to that, she reaches over and jams him with a fist in the shoulder. Um, and she, like, is looking across the table at, uh, Fitz and Glory and just points at them and then just, like, points at the t- two chairs across from her. Look, take a seat, gentlemen. They, for a second, look hesitant, but are very intimidated by you, and they sit down. No. Um, so Roland here has proven a little less knowledgeable on Icer than we need to infiltrate the city. Please... Oh, uh- Tell me that you can tell me something about the structure of the city and how it looks currently. Fitz kind of looks uh, between you and Glory looking a little bit lost. He's like, well, I've only been on the surface, so I can't really help you there, but maybe maybe Glory knows something. And... Uh, Glory kind of uh, steeples their fingers, and they say, um, well, what do you need to know? Uh, I'm looking for any sort of mm, relevant information that might help us get to Eros while letting the fewest people no, a fewest number of people know that we're there. Okay. At this point, uh, the surface is pretty desolate. Because, uh, uh, as I told Roland, and I don't know if he told you, but uh, most of the population is dreaming. Mm. So, there's not really any... Well... There are people on the surface, but they are all induced, so... Induced? Into into the coma thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, hmm. The... To get from the surface city into the ship proper will be a little bit more difficult, but not impossible. There, oh gosh. On the sixth base, there is a, um, oh, what do you call it? Like a, uh, a janitorial shaft or something like that? Like a garbage chute, basically. Uh, that we could probably infiltrate. Uh, when I was last on Isa, it was not heavily guarded. Um, though I do think that Eros has probably already figured out that we are coming for them. Uh, I mean, just gathering from the fact that he killed the bodies of both myself and Roland and Fitz. I would say that uh, he probably has some inkling that we will be arriving in due time. So there may be more more guards than we anticipated. I'm not so much worried about 
guards. Fighting, I am. Fighting, I'm very good at. Eh, maybe not so good as Fane over there, but. Uh, you do look very strong. Thank you. She like smiles and uh, uh, preens a little bit. Like she doesn't usually. People don't usually tell her that she's. She looks like she's strong because she's only five foot. <laughs> Beefcake mom. Yeah. Quite quite the glorious muscles, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Come god. On. Hey, somebody has the hots for weird. <laughs> Um... No. No. What was that? Careless whisper. Um. (laughs) 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 Oh You said that with zero hesitation. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. I'm fucking dying. Okay. Um. So, tell me, Glory, the we've gotten up into the interior of the ship through this garbage shaft or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh. How do we go from there? Well, from there, Eros is typically in the core of the dodecahedron. Mm-hmm. Um, the first three levels in are purely uh, areas for uh, flight, I guess, uh, so that we can control the ship. Um, those are pretty empty at this point. There's maybe one person, two people piloting the whole thing. Uh, he's got that many people under at this point. Uh, mm. So that shouldn't be too hard to get through there. Uh, layers four through six are mostly like civilian contractors. So people that we hire work out to, uh, to do things for us, whether that's working on things on the surface or um, people who later, well, back when the Dreamer program was something to actually want to be a part of, these were the areas that we would select those people from. Um, that is, it's more heavily guarded by security measures, but not by people anymore. There's a lot of traps and things in those layers. Uh, and then, uh, layers nine through 12, or no, I'm messing up my numbers. <laughs> Seven through ten. No, God damn it. Seven through nine <laughs> are. Um, I mean, that's where you're going to get to the more upper echelon of society. Uh, the people just under. Uh, who Eros is. <sighs> I guess how many of those are there? Are we talking like an entire council? From what I've heard of Eros, this guy doesn't seem like the type to appreciate the input of others. These are the royalty from the old days that Eros is too afraid of insulting. They have a lot of power still. Um, So they are with him, but he doesn't want to start an uprising among them by putting them in the Dreamer program. So they are all still alive and kicking, as it were. Uh, 
So those will be a bit more populated, but not impossible to get through. Um, I know some of the rotations of the guard uh, in that area. I worked in that area for quite some time, so I should be able to guide you through there pretty easily. Um, but there is some some danger in those ones. Um, I have a question, actually, considering who's still on Eros or with Eros, sort of. Would, um, also, ZLIDM do a quick question? Yeah. You can name him if you want to. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Is this someone you fucked? <laughs> I'm gonna take that. I'm as pretty a solid sure. That, yes. I'm pretty sure that we already know that Roland fucked his way up through a couple officials, he or at his least way one. Up to the top well, I mean, like Del Rey Roland would say. Okay, so the thing is, Roland. I don't think Roland ever disclosed that fact. He just. Roland said it to Fane. I said it to Fane. Fane talked about outside of. Like, as a, as a group, like in Discord. I don't think that's ever something that's been established to the party besides Fane. That was said out of character. Oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> well, I, don't no, know I, I know that, but. The accent. Somebody, did somebody ask if we knew that in character? Um, I don't think anyone knew no, it in character. I just, I'm calling Emmett out. Oh, okay. I, listen, he's no, a No, I know that. I had somebody... Oh. <laughs> like, whatever. Never listen. mind. I don't... Okay, let me find a name. <laughs> oh, my chocolate has birds printed on it. What the heck? What? It's destiny. <laughs> um... <laughs> Is General Brim Sam still alive? Brim Sam still alive? Can you type that up in the chat for me? Yeah, I got His this. Name, please. Hey guys, what I miss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hero was in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he was cleansing himself after. Yeah, I was washing my eyes out with bleach. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anxious tummy. Wiz, did you miss my joke? Wiz is muted. Wiz, you're Hello? muted. Hello. Just, I did Hello. just work it out. What did you say? Did you miss my joke? No, I yeah, I did because Discord cut out. What did you say? Fuck, I said I had Hero come back and say, hey guys, what did I miss? No, I heard that. Oh, that was it. Because <laughs> <laughs> Hero was in the fucking bathroom the whole time. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Star Wipe, you tell Hero what he missed. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you Hi. could call being in the Dreamer program being alive, Sure. I mean, one of the few officials that's still awake enough for... No. He is... <sighs> he has been in the Dreamer program pretty much as soon as you went in, he went in. Are any of his old connections still around? And Glory, like, starts to smile, and they say, I really like the way you think. Yes, there are some of his connections that are still around and that I think would very much listen to us. Okay, cool. Um, I know he had some stuff in his house, or at least... Um, I, I think I know where to go. Do you care to share that information with the class, Roland? <laughs> I've got to be really careful because uh, Weir is turning into 
to to my very sassy. There's an uh, official, Olaf Grimsty. He, I interacted with him when I was still training in the spacer program. <clears throat> we talked a lot, and I became good enough friends with him. So you fucked him. I. Well, <laughs> I mean, oh. yeah. Rowan. <laughs> what? 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 Why are you? You knew this. And listen, I'm, I'm I was sorry. Could you not tell what he was implying with the way he said the friend? Mm -hmm. No. I actually. Oh. Should I? Poor baby. Rowan is gonna say. I actually, I actually do value Olaf. Olaf, Olfko as a friend. I uh, he was one of the few people I was close to but during that time. I stop. We're not. No, he is a close friend, and I would hate to see anything awful happen to him. If we can use those connections, though, the best, the faster we wake everyone up from the Dreamer program, the better. That is very true. Um, It'll be good to see some old friends. And the people who have been in for a very long time, as I was you know, inducted myself, they had been starting to die off, as it were, not from being killed in their soul forms, but just from being no, in the coma for so long. So certainly I do agree with you, the sooner that we get these people out of the Dreamer program, the better we're going to be. Yeah, okay. Let's find those connections. Hopefully, we can. Do Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Um, the sooner we get them all out of it, the better. So, do you think we, you could hit us up with any of those connections? Which ones are still around? Gosh, there are still some in the. Um, in the elite, the social elite that he has, um, that are still around. Uh, let's see. Make me look up names now, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you suffer like I did. <laughs> well, so I'm gonna go crunch on some peas. Ah. Uh. Oh god, I'm gonna give these people names and I'm not even gonna... Zale, do you want the list that I generated? Sure, give me that. Okay. <laughs> Heads up, these are all the crafty names. Perfect. Fuck. Sir, sir, that's not how copy-paste works. Sir. Um, anyway, filler time. Who wants to start singing? No. <laughs> you know the rules to love. Guys, we'll get copyright strike because you're such talented individuals. <laughs> Sorry. I give you a... <laughs> These are all horrible names that I would never be able to pronounce. <laughs> Why did you do this to me? Because I'm an awful human being, Zale. These are all horrible names. <laughs> you know, I hate awful. all of these. <laughs> Awful. All of this. Thank you, Emmett. <laughs> Thank you, Emmett. I hate all of it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, fuck. That's wasabi up my nose. Ah! Don't do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here, I'll just go to a <laughs> fantasy name generator. Um. Uh, la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Fantasy names. Let's do... They got worse somehow. 
<laughs> Love it. I don't know how they got worse, but they got worse. I didn't want gargoyle names. <laughs> there are no gargoyles here. Okay. These are also awful. Oh no. How is Roderick a futuristic name? <laughs> oh please, the name Roderick, Roderick is eternal. <laughs> Not my Roderick. It's eternal. Uh, one Did I stutter, one Emily? Jesus Christ. This is really great, guys. Okay. Tell me what. Alright. I'm in hell. This is very bad. <laughs> Tell me uh, They say that, uh... Adlin is still around. Uh... So Who the fuck names a kid wine? Titan. And Aryan. Icklehide is still around as well. Icklehide! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. Simness. Those are the ones that I can remember. <laughs> Those are the ones I can pronounce. <laughs> Those are the ones I can pronounce. Uh, yes. My council of eight five. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my greatest ally in my hour of need is a box. <laughs> oh my god. This is going great, guys. This is how we all die. I want to die with the Backstreet Boys playing in the background. Stop. We can... I can... Don't uh, arrange that. Um... We would be able to contact them once we were on the ship. I don't really have the means to contact them before then without tipping off arrows. Okay, that's fine. If we can just get there... That's already 90% of our problem solved. You need to just get up there, get not um, get detected. That should be a bit easier now. Uh, with the help of your... Technology man, uh, Tech we God. you te technomancer, your man. Oh, the nerd Nicola. Nicola. Curly hair, yes, him. Yes, Nicola. The uh, nerd. What, did, what did Nicola do this time? He actually helped us repair all of the ships, and he even installed some things that they didn't have before. Hey, Smashy boy, boy, you spilling tea or something? We are now able to cloak the ships. We weren't able to do that before. So that should give us an advantage. Um, he also repaired some of the lasers to have some more fun things as opposed to just lasers. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> I'm very Fine. concerned, but every Fine. is a good example. Do I get to blow lots of stuff up? Yes or no question? Yes. Ah. I also get to free things and melt them. Oh, I'm so excited. Ooh, we you, you get the impression that Glory really likes killing things, maybe? Sexy. <laughs> Hmm, I'm uneasy. <laughs> I mean, he was hitting on Weir, so we have that in our pocket. What? Why are you all booing me? You know him, right? I mean, yeah. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 My new default noise. ha that's like the sound effect for finger guns, Emmett. There's also a small resistance uh, that I was aware of, and maybe a part of as much as I could be. Um, Ooh, I rebel, rebel! Yes, rebel, rebel. There were a couple of people that we picked up along the way, um, just some refugees and stuff like that. 
um, as we were traveling that we picked up and who joined our call. Uh, How many? I'd say last count there was about 50 of us, but it was hard to keep people out of the Dreamer program. If we were to wake those people up, I think our numbers would be closer to, I don't know, anywhere between 500 and 1,000. I like those odds a lot, a lot better. Um, my concern is what is the, what are the negative, what are the side effects of being in the Dreamer program for so long? I can't imagine that staying comatose for months and months to years on end is any sort of beneficial for the body. I mean... You would be correct. Um, and as I said before, the ones who've been in there for the longest uh, have started to just deteriorate and die off. I would assume there's some issues with the muscles and stuff like that. I, I'm not very well versed in medicine, so I wouldn't be able to tell you the exact specifics, but those who come out of dreaming, uh, well, who did come out of dreaming before the program took its turn, um, would often be sent into physical therapy and the like to get used to being back in the body again. Moving as a soul is a little bit different than moving in a body. Uh, I'll take your word for that. Uh, So, sounds like there's a couple things we have to do here. Um, Find this Ulthgo that Roland mentioned, or at least some contact. Uh, figure out if we try and free the most recently dated dreamers Mm -hmm. for ourselves find the rebel group Uh, what so you said seven sectors seven to nine are the upper echelon, all of the high ranking officials yes. people that are too powerful to sh- destroy or close enough yes. to Eros. What is is the core next? Yes. Uh, the last three <sighs> layers are essentially where Eros and all of his, all of his people are. His people? There's multiple? Well, at this point, I mean, there is and there isn't. He's a very fickle man. If you piss him off, he sends you into the Dreamer program. That's basically what happened with me. I got too close to the resistance and he sent me in i used to be one of his right hand men um so he's a petty bitch yes very much so also i apologize for crunching i thought i was muted (laughs) (laughs) getting in there will probably be the most difficult because it's guarded not only by the ship with security measures like um, the lasers and the locks and the whatnot, but also by his closest allies um, who, while not very many anymore, are very powerful. Um, These are people who have been studying and training for years. Uh, They're very well versed in combat and very intelligent. 
getting past them to get to Eros is going to be quite a challenge. Um, the ninth layer, the the one directly after the uh, the upper echelon, will be the one that has the Dreamer program in it. So where everybody is, well, where most of the population is sleeping, except for those who we ran out of room for, who are on the surface. Um, and then after that, it is the, his, his officials, his allies, chambers and stuff like that. All of the, I guess, office bases and rooms for them. And the final layer is his home base. It's basically like, a penthouse, but backwards. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So if we just like break into their houses and either like kill them in their sleep or just imprison them, we have a whole bunch of less people to worry about. Essentially, yes. Cool. Doing that without making too much <clears throat> noise would be difficult. Uh -huh. I don't know. But if we strengthen our ranks by going to the program first, yeah. we may stand a chance. Then we'll be good. So, break in, wake them up, and... No. Um, wake them up, and then we start killing people in their sleep. Well, essentially... Ooh, yes. See. And, I mean, I'm not necessarily about killing innocents, per se, but... You're killing the bourgeoisie. They're not innocent. How about we stick with killing the ones who align themselves with Arrow? Mm. I like the sound of that a lot better than... A senseless killing. Uh, uh, and she... Cassie. Some serious side eye to Roland. Oh, I thought we were only. Wait, Roland's like, oh, wait, what? I, I thought we were just talking about all the people who were aligned with arrows, not not actual normal people. <laughs> uh, I see. There was a misunderstanding. <laughs> yes, we would be killing those people off. Uh, I would assume alongside of arrows, and then. Well, we need a leader, but uh, I, I suppose that can, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, if we come to it. Yes, when we get there, we get there. We can have the people appoint whoever they choose or appoint somebody or whatever makes sense, but uh, first things first, getting on to I, sir. You said Nicola fixed up the ships? Yes. Um, I think taking just one would be enough for all of us. I mean, they're designed to fit up to 15 people. We have far less than that here. If we took just one of the better equipped ones, I think we would be all right. And I mean, it does seem like you have some reinforcements here. Am I correct in saying that? It seems like these people here in the city would assist you if need be. Um, I think I would much rather not involve the people of Leona's Bay, if at all possible. I agree. I, I, uh, I know they can fend for themselves and all, but this, this, uh, I don't know, I... They are not soldiers. Be at the end of the day, 
There are people. Fair enough. It'd be a bad idea to bring them into new terrain they'd have no understanding of. Well, we also, certainly would not be bringing them to Acer. No, I was thinking more ground support. They seem like rather capable people. I mean, they slew the whole battalion that came after you, aside from us. That's true. I would say that's... I mean, that's not an easy task. Ah. Uh, what are you thinking of having the people do? Well, it's easy enough to teach them to fly the ships. Um, they could stay outside of the base and perhaps provide some aerial and or ground support here, uh, just with the laser cannons and stuff like that, uh, or even should something happen, they could be the first line of defense. They know what's going on. They could spread the word to all the rest of the, the people of this planet somehow. I mean, yeah, didn't you send out the, um, Ben, didn't you send out the letter? Yes, I sent the letters. Okay. I'm not sure if... I, I sincerely doubt um, that my people will come, but should the planet at least be attacked or they see anything, um, they will be aware. That is good. And the uh, fox man and the horned lady, you, you both spoke with your gods? and had them spread the word, am I right? Yes, I have my goddess's word that my people back home and her followers will at least know of the situation. So? Sorry? sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you had the Raven Queen contact uh, her followers or something about the impending doom that might be appro yeah. approaching, right? Yeah, I, I did that last session. Yeah, they were. The character asked if you did that. Like, what? Oh. It's a... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, that should, I mean, help in some aspects here. Is there any other way to get more word out? I don't want this planet to be defenseless. But we also don't want to cause a mass hysteria. That is very true. My people have connections. Okay. Should they feel like the danger is imminent, they will get blood out. Fair enough. Or take matters into their own hands. Unlike Cleona's Bay, that is a city. They have an army. Armies are good. I think we can do this. Are you all ready to sacrifice your lives? I know for many of you, this isn't your battle to fight. But I have to ask, are you willing? Yeah! <laughs> well, I wasn't asking well, when you. It we, is your fight. We know you're willing. I mean... I'm down for whatever. I have nothing else better to do with my life. I mean, 
<laughs> you know what? I'm going to keep that last bit to myself. <sighs> no, no, say it. Say it, you pussy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> don't let like them make you on the commenter ball. <laughs> don't let don't let Emmett bully you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I thought that was in character. <laughs> Me no, too. I was it, talking it, it to Sorry. No. It it might make you a little bit on the commenter ball if I say it. Zale, you probably know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn. Hey, something eyebrow. about death isn't a big deal, blah blah. blah. Well, Reading. no, blah, not. Blah, blah. Okay, not <laughs> not just that, but uh, assuming shit uh, out of character, assuming shit gets out of hand and people start dropping, I'm there to collect. Oh, yeah, that's right, you are. <laughs> oh, oh, see. Yes, so Soul's not gonna say that because y'all are already uh weird. Well, especially Hero <laughs> is very weird. Uh Well he's... not weird so much as a reasonable, decent human being. Yeah, Unlike that's not people. I mean that's, that's not gonna weird. prevent Bumping. that's not gonna prevent the other side from killing Right, exactly. I mean, people are gonna die, I'm assuming. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! So... Watch, guys, watch me! Uh, hi everyone, this is Emily, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be, uh, doing my no-killing run of Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> 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 Let's fucking do it. <laughs> we'll go to Peacecraft. Listen. The sequel. I don't give a fuck! I will kill people. My <laughs> not yet <sighs> boyfriend uh -oh. can't stop me. <laughs> Literally. He's not gonna try to stop anyone from killing. Well, I mean, to an uh, extent. To an uh, extent. <laughs> um, but uh, hero's gonna kind of squirm uncomfortably in his seat and he's like I I am willing to fight to protect the people of this planet yes thank you man. um you can call me hero it's my name oh uh, I th thought it was so rude of me I did not even ask anything it is very nice to meet you, Hero. It's nice to meet you as well. I wish it was under better circumstances. <sighs> Tell me about it. I wrote down her full name somewhere. Somewhere. I don't remember where. I completely and totally forgot that we went from, like, we're gonna tie up and bad, good cop, bad cop these people, to, <laughs> they're chill. So. Up to them faster than you warm up to me. Yes. Sorry, oh. Emmett. It's valid. Roland's a piece of shit. I love Roland, <laughs> though. I love Roland. I love all my boys and my small tiefling's daughter. I love mom. <laughs> <laughs> so are the rest of you in for the long haul then? Are we all in this together? Don't you dare make a high school what musical reference. No. In this together. Don't make me turn this campaign around. Um, I heard his voice. What? Wildcat. What was that? Um, sorry, I missed. Uh, Fane, Fane said, "I heard a voice. My view on it." And then looks at Roland. Mm. That's gay. Um. All right. So. 
Uh, we are probably... Actually, we are definitely takes the longest to respond. <laughs> uh, and, like, takes her time looking around the table and... Ugh! Don't sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. what Weir says. <laughs> um, she, like, studies each of the people at the table and, like, does a little bit of mental calculation. Like, you know, would I really lay down for my life for this person? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and finally, just... Uh... Like rests her forearms on the table and nods across the table at Glory. Says, "I would, I would lay down my life in order that others would protect her." <coughs> Don't you dare double cross me, Glory. I will find my own way if I have to. I don't care what the co- what the stakes are. I swear to you, on the life of my father, that I will not double cross you. Hey, out of character, how do we know that, uh, this bitch, A, don't have a father, and B, don't give a fuck about their father? (laughs) (laughs) You don't. (laughs) You don't. Excuse. You don't. Can I insight check that? <coughs> yes, you may. May I also do that since I'm doing the direct talking? Yes. Okay, cool. Don't fail me now, die dice. <laughs> 16. Natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is insight? Yeah. Uh, um, plus five, so twenty-five. Okay. Um, I'm gonna send you a thing. Oh, it's like whispers, but not because we're yeah, not all exactly. in the same room. Guys, guys, whispers. <laughs> we play this all in one room in real life. It's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. It would be the actual, uh, what's it called? Twilight Zone. We all end up screaming. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Um. (laughs) I imagine death so much that it feels more like a memory. No. Stop. (laughs) Guys, I love Hamilton. Me too. It's 2018. So? I know. I love Hamilton. It's really good. I stopped taking Never notes. Let me catch up. Mm. Oh boy. The DM hums. Mmm. 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 You know what that sound reminded me of? What? You know those little wind-up cars that you'd like crank them up and then you just let them go and they just go vroom, and then they'd stop after like three feet? Oh yeah, it does sound like that. I thought you were going to say it sounded like Skeletor. I have never, I have no idea who that is. You don't know who Skeletor is? No. Emmett, Emmett. That lived off of Discovery Channel and some animal, Nat Geo or some shit. Nat doesn't know shit. The crime channel. Nat Nat doesn't fucking, Nat's never eaten a bagel bite, okay? I mean, I have Bagel bites are trash. Pizza rolls are where it's at. I'm so fucked up over it. You can fight me in the story. (laughs) Yeah, me too. Maybe in the Denny's parking lot at 3 a.m. I'm bagel bites till I die. Me? Who? Eat bagel bites. I eat bagels. What? I don't eat bagel bites. I eat bagels because I live in Brooklyn. I'm Dang talking weird. about the fucking pizza things. Do you also not know what a bagel bite is? 
I know what it is, I just don't eat it. Who do you think I am? But have you had one? Honestly, I think they're trash, but that's my opinion. I have standards. <laughs> and then, have you had a bagel bite? Yeah. Okay, yeah, see so your fine. Maybe. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is it? I don't remember what happened yesterday. Hard to relate. Oh. 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 What? Oh. Now it's not getting a romantic dinner with me until they have a bagel bite. What if our romantic dinner is bagel bites, Bip? Baron Ballad. Touche! Yes, you are I'm really with it. Okay, so, um. Okay. Okay, yeah. So, after a second of, like, just staring unblinkingly across the table at Glory, uh, Weir nods and says, uh, then I think our next order of business is to go visit Nicola to see about the ships. Is it not? I believe that would be correct, and also getting yourselves prepared to, well, be launched into space. I don't know that any amount of preparation could go far enough to prepare me to be launched out of the atmosphere. Well, I think perhaps a trip to whatever stores you may have would probably benefit us. Get some things to prepare us, some potions, stuff like that. Because once we're up there, I don't think we're coming back until the job is done. So I think it's getting time to say your goodbyes. Hey, can I just say something? Yes. I'm not a huge fan of the way you say that, as if it's inevitable we won't return. <laughs> I'm not saying it's inevitable, but I'm saying there is a very big chance. When I asked you if you were prepared to risk your lives, I meant it. From my understanding, we are going off to a war, if I'm correct. Essentially. Yeah, that's uh, all fine and dandy. When will my husband return to the war? There are certain preparations you make when you go to war. Saying your goodbyes and tying your loose ends is one of them. I just think it's better if we what add some pretty words to it no if we are optimistic Op a little optimism never hurt anybody I don't well. think you understand what the word war means honey I, I, I know perfectly fine what war is but people fight wars with the intention of winning them well, uh, here, yes if you'll pardon me I did already say that I think you can do this that we can do this that's However, true I that's like the only positive thing you've said <laughs> I don't want you to live with the regret of not telling somebody goodbye so that is why I say that Yeah, all right. Oh, oh, see, did you mean his fucking chickens? <laughs> his chickens, his mom, whoever. Uh, <laughs> I, have to, I have to go home. <sighs> Takes my 22 chickens home to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that you have time to go home. <laughs> I know, this is my issue. Is Narcissa around? Yeah, she's been kind of like sulking in the corner, listening. Oh, okay. Yeah. Narcissa? 
Uh, yes. Would you mind if I borrowed a... Would you mind if I borrowed another pigeon? <laughs> Not at all, Thane. Thank you. I would like one more pigeon. You too? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't need a bird, because I can get a bird Because you on have my a own. raven. Yeah. Uh, I we but I would, here. I would like to send off something to some people. Okay. What are you sending off? A letter with some okay. words on it. Who are you sending it to? Um, well, I have a mom and I have a dad that <laughs> okay. didn't fucking hate me and I have a sister. Why is that a love Since me. when? Since oh, when shit. did Soul have a sister? I wrote I it. In, I wrote it into my lore that Soul had a sibling. Shit, I, I mean, literally, her lore is kind of irrelevant because she left home at an early age uh, with a charm on so that the people in her town wouldn't suspect anything. Yeah, because it's mentioned... like, yeah, because it's like, oh, all of a sudden these people have a uh, however year old daughter. I don't think so. Okay. All yeah, right. You, fine. you mentioned, I think, the sister to Hero when you were talking about your family life. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. You send that. It's fine. You do it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. You, you send to whoever you need to send to, to do it. I it's have fine. like six <laughs> siblings. Fuck me. I got no one. We're- this is your battle! <laughs> I still got no one! Avery was the only person that Roland had, I mean. We talked to Avery. Yeah. That's fine. He's still dead. <laughs> He's, He's still yeah. dead. He's still, still dead. dead. Just, is... just because you have the ability to talk to him via medium, doesn't Does not make mean him he's alive. Dead. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I didn't mean it in that way. I meant it in the ways and like we kind of said stuff to him. Yeah. Just I mean, technically on the plane of existence he's in, I'm willing to bet money you can talk to him anyways. Even yeah. if you get launched into space. Yeah. Ah. Let's send those goodbyes and then shoot ourselves into space. Yeah, so, uh, you guys kind of Ooh. all break for a moment, and whoever wants to say goodbyes can say goodbyes, and... DM I mean, I you like... for a shopping trip, because we're not having... Yeah, no, we are not doing three-hour shopping trips ever again. We're not um, just, yeah. We don't speak of that. <laughs> so, I think we're going to conclude there for now. And if people have specific goodbye scenes that they want to do at the top of the next stream, uh, DM me and let me know, and I will arrange for that to happen. Um, and can everybody but Fane leave the stream, please? Oh, God. Y'all have been wa listening to too much Critical Role. Bye. Uh, except for, I, I guess technically we need Starry to be here to uh, stream, but if you could take off your headphones. Mute your headphones. Okay. So can't, can't mute. Uh, I'm gonna deafen. Okay. All right. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you send out your letter. 
and uh, write whatever goodbyes you need to write into it. And you go to sleep next to Roland um, in Lena's Bay for probably the last night that you'll be here. And as you dream, you feel a warmth spread over you in a pleasant way that has not since you fell in the river all those years ago. Uh, you curl into the warmth, feeling safe in the embrace that you were in, though you can't remember who's embracing you. You open your eyes and you're blinded for a moment uh, from the bright light that radiates the person that's holding you. It's your mother, but it's not your mother, it's the mother. Fain Thalamar. She speaks and her voice reverberates through you like the crackle of the mountains just before an avalanche. It's not pleasant, but it's not wholly unpleasant either. It's strong and powerful, just like you'd expect it to be. She cups your face and she pats your cheek just like your mother used to. You have grown so strong, young one, but you are still growing. I am so proud of the person you will become. You will be outstanding, but it will not be in the way you expect, my child. She lowers your, her forehead to yours and speaks softly. I need you to understand something, Fane, Thalamar. When you think of your people, you only think of Oranti. They are your family but they will not always be your only family. Do you understand what I mean, child? Do you answer? Um, Queen pauses. I'm, I'm not sure. She smiles a bit and she continues. Open your heart to those around you. You search for redemption, but you seek it in all the wrong places. Do not be blind to the path I have sent you down. I pulled you back for a greater purpose, and that purpose is about to re reveal itself. You have a kind heart and an even kinder soul. Use it to lead those that need guidance in their journeys ahead. You have lived much longer and survived much more than what you are about to face together. Remember everything that you've learned and you will do well. Do not be greedy. She sighs and smiles. Fain Thalamar, your redemption is already within your grasp. All you have to do is follow where I lead you. Do not stray and you will have what you wish. And that's all I have for you today. Uh. <laughs> and just invite everybody back. Welcome back, everyone. Hello. So that, that concludes our session for tonight. Um, if everybody wants to uh, really quick uh, plug their social media, since we didn't do that at the top of the episode, uh, we can go ahead and do that and then uh, say our good nights. So uh, whoever wants to start can start. Let's just go down the line. Start with Wiz. 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 Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm Wiz. I hate Discord. And uh, my <laughs> social media is um, Timris, T Y M R I S, on Instagram and Timris, T Y Y M R I S, on Twitter. Uh, hey, I'm Emily. I play Hero. And my social uh, Tiny Fairy Lights 
on uh, Twitter and Tiny Fairy Cosplay on Instagram. Um, I'm Emmett. I, I play everyone's favorite Spider-Man, Roland. Um, my social media is pretty much the same everywhere. It's ectospasms. It's E C T O S P A Z U M S because someone stole one with two S's. <laughs> um, and I'm Ecto Babbles on Twitter. Hi, I'm Starry. Um, I play Solace, and you can find me on Instagram as Oolong Cos or Twitter as Cosmic Version. Uh, I'm Nat. I play the character of Weir, everybody's favorite mom. I am Catastrophic Cosplay on Instagram and uh, Catastrophe Mouse. Uh, that's C A T A S T R O P H E M A U S on Twitter. And I am your DM Zale. I am Instagram as Prince underscore Zale and on Twitter as uh, at Prince Zale 18. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. Uh, little thank special you. shout out to my brother who actually uh, came and visited the stream while we were doing the thing. Love you, bro. Um, and you. come back tomorrow and listen to my campaign, Quarter Spades. Yes, please come back and listen to uh, Emily's campaign, uh, Quarter Spades. It's very good. I'm very excited for tomorrow. <laughs> Play my fish boy again. Uh, well, yeah, well. again, thank you everybody who came. I know it's been a couple of weeks since we last streamed, but I am really excited uh, to get started on this next part of the uh, campaign here. Uh, thank you all and have a fantastic night. Bye. 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 Bye.